guys, welcome to Fashion on a Budget. My name is Dionis. Today, we're talking about the Billboard Music Festivals and the five best and five worst menswear outfits. So we're gonna kick things off with the five worst outfits from the night, and in no particular order, our first candidate is Lil Uzi Vert. Now, as you can see, Lil Uzi Vert is in a really strange outfit. He looks like a pirate. He looks, no man should have a sheer shirt on, especially one that shows so much skin. I mean, if you're tatted up and you have that much art on your body, still, that should not be an excuse to show that much. And I mean, maybe he really liked Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know what to say. Second on my list is Sway Calloway. Now, either this is a very unfortunate picture or he really has no fashion sense whatsoever. The thing is, any man could get a slim fit suit, but the thing is, it's how you put it together and how you accessorize it. Now, the first mistake he has, he buttoned the wrong button. And unfortunately, it's just, it, it looks bad on all means of the word. Either that is just unfortunate or, I mean, it, you shouldn't be put in a position where you don't know what button you're buttoning up. So always remember, the first button or the first two buttons if you're wearing a three button suit. His other mistake was wearing a tie that matches exactly with his pocket square. That's just a bad move all on its own. It's very cheaply put together and I think he needs a stylist to put together his outfits in the future. Next on our list is Logan Paul. Now, I know there, there are a bunch of fans of his and maybe he doesn't like to dress up that much. Maybe he's not a fan of clothing, but if you spend that much money on your shoes and you look like that, it's unfortunate that the money can't save an outfit. Fendi shoes are great and I think he's pulling them off in the worst way. It's just the jacket just doesn't go with him and he looks like a typical high school kid. So we're gonna leave it at that. Now we got Sean O'Donnell and I don't know, something about him pulling up his sleeves and the tie seeming a little bit long on him. And it, he just looks, he looks even younger than Logan Paul. And it's, it's just a bad look compared to what I saw. It's not extremely terrible, but it's pretty bad. So I'm unfortunately ha gonna have to give him a really bad note on this look. Uh, he, I, he looks like he's a kid that could pull off pretty good looking clothes, but but this is just one of those instances where he didn't. And last on the list is Jesse Smollett. Now, as you can see, there's something off about this outfit. Wrong, off. It's the fact that he has such a nice looking jacket and then he pairs it with these super cropped trousers that don't go at all with the look. And the chambray shirt just doesn't go with the outfit at all. It seems too long and it seems just out of place. And I feel like that's the problem with this outfit. It's so out of place each piece and it doesn't sync well together. So next time you look for an outfit, don't go for a shirt that's so long and go for trousers that are so short. They just don't pair well. And it's unfortunate in this case because I have seen him dress really well. All right, so that's our five worst and now let's move on to our five best. Now in order, because I wanna give a special mention to our number one candidate, but in order from five to one, our fifth best dressed is DJ Khaled. And he just looks great. I mean, DJ Khaled has really improved on his fashion sense and the way he puts together an outfit. And this is just a great example of putting together a great, almost tracksuit outfit with a great bomber jacket, great track pants, dope Air Jordan 4s. And that's the thing about DJ Khaled. Even though he's a little bit overweight, he still can pull off a great looking outfit and he knows how the clothes should fit him and it's without a doubt one of my favorite outfits of the night. Moving on to number four, it's Drake but when he was performing in that all white outfit. So he looked great in this look and what I love about it is the fact that he has great tech wear inspired pieces on it, especially the top that has an elasticated collar and it goes with the vibe of this current season with the sportswear outfits and mixed with the tech wear. It, it, it just goes great, great fitting on him as well. It looks fantastic, I love the cargos on the bottom. It, 
spectacular look. He really pulled that off, and congratulations to Drake for winning all those awards. Next up, we got Jason Kennedy, and he looked so sharp. One of the sharpest looks in the whole night, and I mean, this is what you should look for when it comes to tailoring. That perfectly fitting suit is just, it's looks it looks so good. And he paired it off with some nice, great sneakers that just blend so perfectly with a sharp look. And the colors, surprisingly, I'm not a fan of when you're wearing red, white, and blue. It, it sometimes looks a little too patriotic, but he pulled it off great with a dark shade of red and a dark shade of blue, and then a bright white. And it looks fantastic on him. Great haircut, great grooming. He looks top notch, definitely worthy of number three. And for our second best look of the night, it's gonna be Brian Kelly. Now, he just absolutely killed it. One of my favorite looks, I mean, for, for a long time. I mean, he pulled off a great looking Saint Laurent jacket and he just had the nice Saint Laurent boots paired with it. Overall, fantastic image. He has the great hair. It's something very smooth and very raw rock star vibe. I'm just really digging this look and I couldn't give it enough points. He really did a great job and pairing together a great outfit. And at number one, this guy blew me away. So we got John Legend in a Gucci suit. Now here's the thing, right now you're just seeing the front, but what's incredible is what he has in the back and that is the Gucci signature embroidery. And it's so perfect. It's such a beautiful suit with such edge in the back. Like, it's subtle, and the thing is, I didn't even realize that until I saw it in the GQ website, and it, it's such a fantastic piece. Not only is the window pane suit perfectly tailored, but then you got that, that adds to the streetwear vibe of today, and just puts Gucci just on top, even more. Uh, no matter where he goes, he's always dressed to his best, and he's definitely worthy of the number one spot in the billboard fashion. All right guys, so that's the video. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Hit a like up button or dislike, whatever. And let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next. I have a Gucci and Mr. Porter collection review coming up next. And I'm planning on creating a lot more content coming up soon, all right? So please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys later.